Well, good morning, day after Columbus Day, still doing our weekend survey through downtown Northampton. Here talking about uh, Speak Up America, the vehicle for community voices. But I'd like to use my community voice to say a few good words about Local Burger and how they helped launch the Friday meal for the homeless when there wasn't one Fridays except for pizza in the evening. And how they help with the Cathedral of the Night and other who help the needy here in Northampton. So here we are in Loco Burger with the owner. Uh, let him tell you what interests him about uh, being a community helper in Northampton. Yeah, we contribute to the Cathedral of the Night and, and other organizations that uh, feed the poor, and, and, uh, and it's our pleasure to do it, and uh, we'll continue doing it as long as they are are poor and help these people around. Yeah, I think it's a great organization. They do a lot. And uh, like I said, we'll keep on supporting it. And as they support the public, we hope you'll support them. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Here I am, downtown Daniel, here in Thorns Market, with, as you can see, candy all around me with the captain himself. The reason we're here today is I wanted the community to know that uh, when I started up the homeless meals for the needy uh, across from the first church on the steps, I was carrying the stuff either from way down at the end of Fruit Street up to downtown or bringing it on the bus with me from Florence. Then one day I started talking to Captain Candy and his people. and. Uh, they gave us refrigeration and dry storage room to help out our project. Uh, we work with the Cathedral of the Night, Manor, Common Ground, and the College Church, who does breakfasts uh, during the winter when the shelter is open. Uh, Captain Candy was an intricate part of me not having to run an extra half hour each day and I just want the world to know how much the homeless and myself and the needy appreciate his help. Uh, he can tell you how, how he got started up here in Northampton and how he's been a part of the community and hopes to be a continuing part. Well, thank you, Daniel. I just wanted to say thank you very much because the reality is is that none of this would happen without you. And by coming to us, the least we could do is give you a place to store things. And uh, for us, it was nothing for you it was just impressive to watch you go from uh, a little to more to more to needing more storage all the time. Um, so we did very little compared to what you did, but we appreciate the the, the nod and the. Uh, for us, um, being part of the community has always been important, and uh, I, we've been here in the basement of Thorns now for uh, three and a half years. We were in Amherst for four years. Um, the community here is just. Uh, the diversity and and the both economic color uh, education uh, is just a pleasure community to live in, and you know we're all just members of this community. Oh yeah, as I say it, it's almost it not almost like it is President Johnson's dream of the great society. We actually live it here in Northampton. I just wish it would spread nationwide, where gays talk to the businessmen. Street people are out there, and the police and the city officers uh, at town hall stop and actually talk to them like they're people. You know, there isn't the separation of rich, poor, black, white, Jewish, Christian, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, even the alternative people, hey, they're alternative. To them, we're the alternative, but we all well, get it's, along. It's an this extremely is, acceptive community, right, exactly. and it allows all of us to live and to have these type of things that we're talking about here. Yeah. And, and that's just a pleasure to be part of this community. You know, like I say, here we are in downtown NoHo. If anywhere is Cupcake City, USA, this is it. <laughs> Stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wave me from those clothes. I am getting near. I am a better man. That pays. Never bothered, I am half the man With my God I pray, dark altar Children of the world 
downtown Daniel here in downtown Northampton. Got another segment of Speak Up America, the vehicle for community voices to be heard. I'm here with the gentleman from East Hampton. I'll let him introduce himself in a moment and give his thoughts. Basic issue we're speaking on is a proposition for the ballot for the midterm has already been organized and written and we're getting opinions from the public of what they think about the state of society, how cops are shooting people, people are shooting cops, they're rioting, they're burning down things. Everybody's uptight nationwide about the state of the system and uh, we honestly and earnestly believe that a proposition amendment like this which basically states we want to truth test and possibly even drug test all elected politicians, those that they appoint, and all court officers, which would include the DA's department, the judges, and the probation and the sheriff's department. So I'll let this gentleman from East Hampton introduce himself and let's see what he has to say, because like I said, this isn't about what I think, Daniel thinks. This is what the community voices think. Uh, my name is David Rossoff, and uh, I would be against drug testing. I'm against drug testing in general. Um, for one thing, it's, it, it doesn't really test whether the person's high at the moment or not. It tests whether they've done drugs in the past, which it's often inaccurate and causes problems, and I think they're certain drugs that, you know, should be legal anyway. Um, but as far as uh, truth testing, as far as lie detectors, considering how dishonest most politicians are, I think that's probably a good idea. And what do you think about how it reflects on those that they appoint? You know, I mean, let's say to head up uh, the welfare department or the lottery where all this money's coming and that's supposed to go to schools, but the schools are getting worse. Yeah, well, I, w I would have no problem with them being tested also. I mean, I, I think they should all be forced to tell the truth. And what do you think about, and do you see the same inequities in the scale of balance in the legal system and rich, poor, who's honest, who fixes things, who has the inside ear of the judge, et cetera, et cetera? Do you see any discrepancy and balance of innocent until proven guilty? How do you feel about it? the way the truth of that situation is, if I may ask. Well, the system is and always has been rigged. Uh, the rich get away with crimes and the poor get railroaded into prison whether they're guilty or not. Uh, it's always been that way. It, it's partially on skin color and ethnicity, but it's probably more, uh, uh, well, it's also equally about rich and poor. And a family of friends. If they know the kid next door when he's <laughs> caught with some cocaine or hair, <laughs> I'll put my foot up your butt. Someone mm. they don't know goes to jail for 20, 30 years. It's also partially... Where we want them to treat everybody equally, whether you know them or not. If you're going to have true justice, you have to start with true bound. It's also partially the laziness of the, of the police and the justice system. They'd rather prosecute somebody who's easy to prosecute than actually find the real criminal, because that way it looks like they're doing their job. Well, thank you, sir. And we appreciate your comments. And like I said, it's a mixture of what everybody thinks from society that hopefully down the line will mold this thought into something pliable. Thank you for doing And bless you. All right, this is called Jericho. I'm going down to Jericho Got a woman on my mind I'm going down to Jericho Got a woman on my mind Ain't no God above can nail me, babe Got a magnum by my side I'm going down to Jericho Gonna leave the world behind I'm going down to Jericho Gonna leave the world behind No bone to pick
kick with me, babe Got a magnum by my side I'm going down to Jackson Gonna leave the world behind I'm going down to Jackson Got a man on my mind Let's drink it till we're drunk, Bob Let's leave the world behind We'll drink it till we're drunk, dear Try to make it through We'll drink it till we're drunk, dear We'll try to make it through You go on leaving me, babe There ain't no telling what I'll do What the hell is this all for? Going down to Jericho Got a woman on my mind I'm going down to Jericho Got a woman on my mind Leave the world behind Excellent, thank you my thank good you very man very much We it's appreciate you having you <laughs> We are blessed with uh, having had a past relationship with Joe Where when I was first starting the Tuskegee Airmen's Homeless Veterans Fund Which raises money for the homeless and veterans to help out with food and whatever needs they have. Uh, he was kind enough to help me secure some tickets to raffle off from the Celtics. Then he had his expandable brass band play at a show for us a couple of years back after that. At uh, the, was it uh, the American Legion, right up behind the high school? Bay, Bay State, yeah. Right, Bay State. and uh, he has been a local pillar and a definite supporter of veterans and helping out when he can to support the homeless cause. Uh, and uh, he can tell you a little more about how long he's been here, whatever. I've actually been here for 40 years. This year is my, was my 40th anniversary. We actually had a big party out in the parking lot in June where six different bands played. The, I was in three of them. And, uh, <laughs> it wasn't the Expandable Brass Band, though. The Expandable Brass Band is a, it's a really fun group. We had a really good time playing for, the, for that show that you did at the, um, uh, at the VFW in Bay State. It was, uh, it's not really. It's not really my band. I, I, it's it's really a horn band, and I just play tenor banjo in it, which so it's, you can barely hear me most of the time. So the banjo's not loud enough. Well, like we say, it isn't about the one person. It's about the collective sound. Uh -huh. But uh, also, uh, when uh, we have uh, our support, also goes as far as uh, the cathedral in the night, which is an outdoor homeless ch church for the homeless right here on the streets and we look forward to more of a relationship in the future and i know i'll be here helping out wherever i can in the city and joe has always done his best to make this a better town and city which we all love to live in yes thank you thank you all right this next one is called dark altar there is lightning in my veins blood shed in tidal way Every answer keeps me guessing Every rose is just as well And there's a good guy in me hiding Buried six feet underground Right beneath that childhood promise Right above some frozen hell And every answer keeps me guessing 
God who asks but doesn't tell There's a nightmare in my tombstone It's playing on the shelf Columbus Day 2016. We're getting ready to kick off our third season on Pioneer Valley Access Television, which will be able to be found not only on my downtown Daniel Evans Facebook page, but weekly shows will be airing uh, in the Pioneer Valley and Amherst, Greenfield, Northampton, and East Hampton on Community TV. Uh, this particular season will kick off with segments from Speak Up America, Vehicle for Community Voices. Uh, we've got some stuff from the streets with local street musicians. And when we do our indoor shows to do our major fundraising to help feed the homeless and help those veterans who are in need, you'll be able to come to where we are right now at the Bird House or Joe Blumenthal's Downtown Sound and be able to get hold of us and let us know you'd like to be one of the local songwriter performers who'd like to help us raise funds for this cause. This year, we're bringing on a new, new help here with the Bird House. Uh, I'll let uh, him explain. He's been here four or five years, just moved to a new location, and we're so glad to have another outlet where the best songwriters in the area come to regularly. And he has a wonderful shop, as you see around, but I'll let him introduce themselves and tell us uh, how they want to, are pleased to be part of our project. Thanks, Daniel. My name is Gage. I just work here at Birdhouse. I'm not the owner, but we're happy to be downtown business and support musicians of all walks at all times. You know, we're all in this together. It's a small town and everybody kind of has their own thing to offer. So being a hub for whatever accessories, finding a new instrument or networking is something that we've always planned for in Birdhouse's future. So we're happy to get more involved with that now that we're on Main Street here. 
And we're also pleased to have you help us out there. Never feed enough homeless, never help enough homeless veterans. This is true. And anything you can do down the line to support. That's what a lot of people don't realize. You don't have to give cash. It's almost like the Salvation Army and uh, places like that. Anything you can give that will help someone else in need is always appreciated. So bless you for being part of our new family of helping the public and the homeless and the veterans. And we appreciate any support we can give each other in the Thank future. You. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be a part of it all.